the other hand, as we go back to the beginning of the teachings, we have to realize a lot of things. A recap will bring us where we want to be. If you go back to the very beginning of the teachings, early teachings, go back before the teaching started. Go back to the first time most of you came across the world, cashtechnology.com. If you remember, <coughs> and it still is on the internet somewhere, there was a Coca-Cola bottle. A lot of people looked for energy out of Coca-Cola bottle, but the energy of the Coca-Cola bottle never was understood fully by those who looked for it in a different way. If you go back to the beginning of the teaching of how everybody was looking for this cash secret liquid or this plasma liquid, which now you all know is caustic, the whole commotion was on how it creates energy, how it creates nanomaterial. But as we said in most of the teachings, this integration of the screw end of the plastic was the target. Because in the screw end, can I share the screen please? In the screw end, Yes, okay, I'm there. I'm going to expand this. <coughs> In the screw end of the Coca-Cola bottle, if you remember, I'm not a very good drawer. This end has a specific characteristics that when you put the electrodes in and you put the caustic in, <clears throat> due to the current which these electrodes were extracting, they allowed a creation of a condition that only most of the, what we call the atomic structure of this part, because of a specific condition on certain bottles, could disintegrate to open up. And in a way, it released what we were looking for as atomic hydrogen. In many of the teachings I explained, when a man understand the use and be able to create tritium, then man will be able to gather the full knowledge to go into space. Today, we're going to teach you how to create tritium how to produce it, and how to use it. And first of all, you have to understand what it means having tritium in your hand. Tritium in nuclear reactors is the curse of the technology, because of the radiations which you create. Tritium as a Gans plasma is a gift to the universe. It depends how you handle, how you play. There is a difference between hydrogen three uh, atoms of hydrogen and I what I call tritium. You can change combination of hydrogen three into a tritium if you understand the process. One of the reasons Cash Foundation was made a terrorist organization by the Belgian government because they could not understand how easily we were creating nanomaterials, and they said using radiation and using uh, plutonium, is because of the presence of tritium. Tritium produces huge amount of energy. This is why we got involved with TEPCO. The existence of tritium which then we show them how to convert it into gold, and then we show, we show subsequently monoatomic gold, is the structure of the lathe of the cola bottle. Yes, we produce, feel the strength at the gamma level, 
which is not harmful to man, because it's in a plasmatic condition, through the lid of the Coca-Cola bottle. We are an expert in it. I'm a nuclear physicist, I know how to hide my game. And a lot of you followed it. US government, Russian government, Chinese government, have spent billions trying to reach atomic hydrogen. To use for atomic bomb. To use for advancement of whatever was the clandestine activities which you've seen it. But no one up to now ever considered production of the treaty. The compression on certain plastics of certain products allows the creation of treaty. It's very, very, very strange. The way CH bond of the plastic works, allows you these things. If you're a chemist, you understand. As a nuclear physicist, I've been trained totally by my masters in nuclear industry and university to understand the depth of the application of interaction of the inner sanctums of an atom. That's why I'm a nuclear physicist. And for that reason, I looked into the depth of how I can have what is the essence of the creation, which is a neutron, and free it to use it, but hide it in a magic show. In, in line with the production of release of the disintegration of the plastic, I do create tritium, but in a plasmatic condition. If you go back to some of the recordings of the Keshe Foundation, I explained this very, very clearly. When you had the Coca-Cola bottle, and some of you followed it, I made pipes. And I gathered, I showed to the students, I gathered how to collect tritium. But I called it hydrogen. Where the electrodes are here to attract it, to pull the produced tritium up to where it should be. The content of the Hydrogen hides amongst the first tank and then develops to the higher tank. The reason we use tritium as a energy, as a source of energy for a space technology, is the way the tritium comes to exist. It's the extension to the knowledge to understand that, as we say, always say it, and some of you laugh at it, is that we have an old saying in Farsi, we say, whoever has a moustache is not your uncle. Because all the Iranian men, most of them have moustache, so the half of the nation is your uncle. It's the same with the understanding of the man. Ask yourself simple physical question. Ask and understand the process of the production of the elements as we have spoken before. Not oxygen, because it's an oxygen, is the same across the planet. Each plant, each vegetation, creates and releases an oxygen of different strength according to its structure, even though we call them all oxygen. When you have a oxygen like a CO2, it means to equal in strength, oxygen have managed to interlock using the carbon 
as an in, interconnector, like CO2. When you have a hydrogen, three, tritium, now you have a plasma in a matter state, before it becomes a tritium, in a way, before it becomes a plasma of the tritium, the same composition. These three hydrogen molecules of one element are not all the same, even though they're all hydrogen. One has a slight a strength connection with the other. Very, very a slight connection with the other. And the other one has a slightly different connection with the other one. And then the other one has, again, a slight connection with the other one. So now you see, the three hydrogens are not copy of each other. They all have something slightly in common with each other, that the structure allows the fulfillment of the totality. So, if you understood this, it becomes easy to the next step. Now, you have a common denominator, energy balance between the three, but you have three objects, three entities in a strength. <coughs> One of them is the common denominator. One of the three is a free, and that common denominator in it, because of the structure of hydrogen, can only be one thing, the neutron, in that element. Now, you can see the gameplay. Now you understand how you can play and convert atomic structure, molecular structure, hydrogen, into the gans and the plasma of hydrogen. Now, what you, in reality, have is something very amazing. And in so many ways, how do I get a fresh, okay. What you're going to get, is this. And if you go back to all the teaching, this is what you have. If you understand this, you understand the key to the operation of your system, your flight system, how to energize it, how to position it, how to travel, how to carry information. <coughs> you have to set your system the same way. Now I explain to you in a very simple way how the game has changed. The sun, the Earth, and your spaceship. Change the done Sun to another galaxy, gravitational magnetic field force, change the Earth to another galaxy. How you operate the fields within the plasma dictates if you're arriving or if you're leaving. Now you understand why, in the teachings of past few months, I referred to tritium a few times. Why, 
hydrogen is the cornerstone of any system operation in the universe. It's not so much his electron and his photon, it's so much the strength of his neutron. And the neutron across the universe, this universe, according to the condition created by a central line principle, magnetic gravitational field strength is the same across the universe, in this universe. In a space travel, we look for this, but fortunately, on this planet, because of its condition, we can select it, we can separate it. There are conditions where we can see the creation of tritium hidden in the structure of the matter state, where it becomes the fuel of the future. So, what you have is that you have a neutron, And this neutron can split in the position of electron and proton as it needs. So, what do you have? You have what has happened to this pen? You have a proton and a neutron which leads to the creation of the proton and the neutron, electron. And as we all know, they're all energy packs, plasmatic energy packs. So, what you can do is very simple. Make accumulation of any part of this, and now you understand, would you like hydrogen, would you like copper, would you like gold? But, in the plasmatic condition, we don't see it as individuals, we see it as the totality of the field flow. Where this is your one hydrogen, this is the other hydrogen, and this is the other hydrogen of the three tube. And somewhere here is your cup. Somewhere here, is your gold. And somewhere here, is your plutonium. And the man has not found out about the other elements, which exist in the higher levels, yet. So, what we have to understand, is how to use the, what we always say, the matter condition physicality into the plasma condition physicality. You all have become masters in this. Most of you have literally passed this technology in such a way that it's like sitting in a high speed train passing through the city. You've gone so fast through it that you haven't had time to look at the scenery. You haven't had time to digest where you've been through, what information has been available to you. A lot of systems gives you different combination of hydrogen three. A lot of systems you have created, CH3. In fact, 
all of you who have been around the plasma technology have produced tritium in the plasma state. I have made a plasma physicist, what I call nuclear plasma physicist, atomic nuclear plasma physicist, out of all of you without you knowing. And you know more than most of the PhDs who call themselves nuclear physicists. But it's come to you so naturally, in the process of making it, that you have not gathered most of your professors in this technology. You got to understand, and slow down, and go back and have a look what you missed. What you have gathered, that now you can use, you have overlooked. 